Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Feature Director Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to recreate that title from a cinematic modern pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so first off you can download the macro of that title by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, you will get basically a title that you can use here on the edit page with a bunch of control that we've added like background perspective, glow control, shadow control. Uh, you can adjust uh, different animation and you can also adjust the animation length uh, directly from the edit page. Because we've built those titles using anime curve as some expression, uh, but in this video I'm gonna share with you how to do it with keyframe because it will take just too long to explain how to do it uh, and write each expression and it's just not the topic so if you want the fully done title you can just download it uh, in the description below so now let's just jump right into it and see how we can create that from scratch so we need a new fusion composition to start with so we're going to go over to effect effect and here fusion composition drag that here in the timeline now we can move over to fusion so I'm gonna start by bringing here a background node in my working area and then we're gonna bring a text node in the working area as well I'm gonna link the output to that background and then I'm gonna link the merge to the media out. Then here on my background, I'm just gonna drag the alpha channel down to zero so we have transparency. And then I'm gonna go back to text. I'm gonna write while the text. So here I'm gonna go with uh, our Matera 2. I'm gonna switch the font to Barlow Condense. It's a free Google phone, so you can download it online. And here I'm just gonna adjust the size to be at 0 0.5. And then I'm gonna adjust the tracking to be at 2.5. Also, actually, I'm going to switch from bold to regular. And now we pretty much have the layout of our text. I'm just going to click on the merge tool. And here I'm going to hit shift space to open the select tool window. I'm going to search for glow. And here I'm just going to bring a glow node after my merge. This is going to add a glow to my text. And I think it just look uh, nice for a cinematic title. Now that we have the layout of our text, we can move out to the animation. Uh, I'm going to do it with keyframe here for the sake of explanation. But everything is applying to anim curve. So if you know how to use anim curve, just uh, apply the same kind of animation, but using uh, anim curve instead. We've used anim curve and expression for all the titles in this pack, so they adapt to any frame rate and any resolution. But yeah, it will just take too long to explain and write each expression uh, for this tutorial. So now let's move on. I'm going to do an animation with the follower modifier. So here I'm just going to select my text, go to text and right click on it. And I'm going to select follower. It opened the modifier window right here. I'm just going to select it. And here in order, we're going to switch from from automatic to random one by one. It's basically gonna adjust uh, the animation on each letter uh, on a random scale rather than, you know, an orderly scale from left to right or inside out, outside in, etc. So right now I've just selected random but one by one. And here I'm gonna switch the delay to two. Now let's move on to shading and here we're gonna put some keyframe on three parameter. The first one here gonna be uh, on the position. So we're gonna adjust the offset Z and we're gonna adjust the offset Y. So I'm gonna go out from 75 and here I'm gonna drop a keyframe on the offset Z and then we're gonna go down to zero and I'm gonna modify the offset Z to minus 25. And basically we've added a scale animation where uh, it's gonna come from outside the frame and each letter gonna come into place. Now I'm gonna add a keyframe on the offset Y. So I'm gonna go back to the 75th uh, frame and then I'm gonna drop a keyframe right there. It just create here a placement point. So right there, that green point, I'm gonna then go to frame zero and I'm gonna move that point up and it's basically gonna add a displacement animation going from top to bottom uh, adding to uh, the first scale animation that we've added. So here, now the letter coming from the top. Now let's go back to the follower and then we can just scroll down and we're gonna go to softness and we're gonna add a keyframe here on the softness X. So I'm gonna go back to frame 75. I'm gonna drop a keyframe here and then I'm gonna go to frame zero and I'm gonna increase the X to the maximum. So here it's gonna be 20. And it's just basically gonna have like some blur animation on each letter. Now let's smooth out our animation by opening the spline editor. Here, I'm gonna select the text. I'm gonna click zoom to fit to see all our point. And then I'm just gonna select all the keyframe point that we've added and hit the letter S on our keyboard to smooth out everything. Now let's close the spline. And now let's play the final result. 
here we go we got our uh, cinematic modern title again you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below we added a bunch of different parameters and control that you can adjust easily from the edit page such as the timing different animation type uh, the size glow position shadows etc etc and if you enjoyed this title you can check out the full pack available on our website thank you very much for watching please let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you on the next one bye speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website including titles transition and templates but only for DaVinci Resolve get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com